Hey y'all, this is Arnold with Creek Ridge Overland. I'm back. Uh, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. I know we did here uh, at the household and uh, had a good time with family and kids and everybody. And uh, But I want to do a video today. I said on the last video I'd do one on uh, my rig, my truck, uh, what I'm running, um, some of the things that I use, uh, and also got a... a little array of things laid out on my tailgate here just some of the things that i've got some of it i got for christmas uh some good stuff and just some of the things that i use uh so far uh that's worked out pretty good for me um you know i'm still fairly new at, at all this gear i mean i've been off-roading all my life but uh as far as the off-grid and and uh, uh some of the gear and stuff you use this this stuff wasn't around back when I was young, um, so it's pretty cool. A lot of good technology and some, you know, some old school tricks and stuff out there too. But first off, I'm gonna get started on my truck. Um, just kind of show y'all a little bit of what I'm doing with uh, with my stuff here. So I have a, a, a 2012 Ram Power Wagon. Yeah, buddy, the Power Wagon. And it's exactly what uh, the name suggests. It is a power wagon. This sucker right here, um, man, I'm tell you what, it's a beast. 5.7 uh, V8 gas burner. I don't have any use for a diesel. Um, don't want one. Too much trouble. Never known anybody with a diesel. Didn't have a whole bunch of trouble. And boy, are they expensive when they do tear up. So I'm just going to run with a gas burner. It works all right for me because I ain't pulling nothing anyway. Um... So start from the front here. I've got a uh, the Frontier brush guard. Um, it's pretty good, uh, pretty durable. I like the look of it. Um, it doesn't take up the whole front end, but yet it ain't real small or kind of useless like a bull bar would be. I mean, this sucker is pretty rigid. It's uh, it's going to get the job done. Um, I also bought these lights here. Now my son runs. Uh, he runs the uh, the Baja lights on the front of his Tacoma, and um, man, they're they're good lights, and boy, are they bright! I'm here to tell you, they're they're I really like them, and that's kind of where I got the idea. He runs the nine inch like I've got here, but um, they're pricey. Well, he told me how much them things cost. I about fell over, so I said, well, I'm not gonna go that route. Um, I, I'm not right now. I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on on lights. I mean, I use that money elsewhere for better stuff but um that's just me that's just my opinion now everything i tell you is my opinion if y'all are running it more power to you because i know they're good lights i'm not knocking them saying they're not good lights they're just expensive and i'm not looking to spend that kind of money uh so i found these here on uh, amazon and they were a hundred and eight dollars for the pair and boy i'm here to tell you them suckers right there are bright almost as bright as the ones that he's got so i mean you know um but also it's what you can't see it's kind of tucked up in here um my camera right here i've got a, a camera i'm running uh uh cameras on the front and the back um just uh, you know it's hard to see over the hood of one of these big uh power wagons and so i got that kind of pointed at the ground where i can see what's in front of me on the monitor in, uh, that i mounted inside the truck uh, which you'll see here in just a second. Um, I've went with the uh, the bullet antenna. Um, you know, the taller antenna, you can bang around and it flop all over the place and make a bunch of racket like old door stopper or something when it hits a bunch of limbs or blah, 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 blah make all kind of racket. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've also got my ditch lights here. I went with, um, these are a seven inch wide um, ditch light. Uh, they're you know, very bright, very bright lights. Um, they also weren't pricey at all. I got those on eBay. Uh, they were like $58, I think, for the pair. Um, so a little bit of what I got here on the inside. So uh, as you can see, I've got the RAM mounts, uh, two for phones and one for the iPad. Um, you know, have the iPad run Gaia GPS, uh, which is a pretty cool ordeal. And I've also got the... Uh, um the ram mount uh that goes for i got from uh, overland essentials here that goes for um you mount it on the around the center console there and 
you got your plugins for your phone and whatnot, but I'm gonna tell you what, that thing was a pain in the ass. And I'm just gonna say it, it was a pain in the ass to put on. But once I got it on, I liked it and it was pretty cool. It was just hard to, uh, it had drill holes and stuff, which wasn't a big deal, but it was just hard to get the bolts lined up. And um, I, I needed about eight hands is what I needed. So just doing it by myself, it was, it was a little pain in my rear end, but, uh, but it worked out. But anyway, a little more on the power wagon. For those of you that don't know much about, uh, you know, full-size rig or power wagon, I like it because, um, you know, the power wagon, it comes standard. You can see I've got, uh, it comes with the trailer brakes uh, already uh, installed. I like the uh, manual four-wheel drive shift. It comes with that also. But uh, up in here, you can see it comes standard with a uh, front and rear um, locker for your front and rear axles. Um, and then down here, you got a button for also, it's got a automatic sway bar uh, disconnect, which comes in real handy. You don't, um, you know, with a power wagon, you don't have to pay any extra to go adding all that stuff to your rig, you know, when it already comes with it. So, which is pretty cool. Uh, in the back here, you can see, I just, I keep a zero degree sleeping bag back here. I uh, keep my jump out bag or my bug out bag, if you, whatever you want to call it, um, first aid kit. And I always keep, you know, some fire starting stuff, knives and uh, some MREs and some food stuff and uh, things like that, you know, just to, in case I get caught out and get stranded somewhere. Um, so, but that's a little bit of what got uh, going on on my truck. Um, the, uh, the power wagon, like I said, it's a, I'll give you a, a better shot here of how big that thing really is it is a big truck i will i will say that i know a lot of people don't don't like the big full-size rig you know when you're doing the overland stuff but um i like it uh you know it's uh i'm not scared to to get it out there it's not a parking lot queen so if i get on a trail that might be a little narrow or something well i'll just push my way through you know what i mean uh, but it's sitting on 37 inch tires i got the uh, the bfg mud terrains on there now but i'm going to tell you i hate them i do not like them one they're expensive and two they don't wear good they don't wear even even trying to keep them uh rotated and whatnot they're i don't like them i just don't like them whatsoever uh so when i get these wore out i think i'm gonna do a little research and go with something uh, one that's a little bit cheaper but uh just a better all-around tire as far as you know off-roading and you know driving it every day on the highway and stuff too so if anybody got any recommendations on that stuff y'all feel free to drop a comment uh down there and i'll check it out and uh we'll see what we're gonna do but uh i'm gonna cut this for now um and i'm gonna plug this phone in it's going dead on me here and uh i'll be right back with you let's start right here because i got my phone plugged in so what i've got right here this is a primax um portable uh battery pack or charger whatever you want to call it so i was looking at the jackery uh because my son has one um i looked at the blue eddy um there's a few other ones out there and I come close to buying one of those until I found I run across this one um, on Amazon. No, I'm sorry, it was on eBay. I run across it on eBay. Um, and I got to looking at it and doing some comparisons and this is a uh, 600 watt hour or, or 600 watt um, pack. It comes with uh, a few different things here. I'll show you in a second, but the biggest thing on this for me was the price. Of course like I've said on many things earlier but before I bought it I wasn't gonna jump on it just because of the price I did a bunch of reviews watched some YouTube videos and seen some other people uh, were running this Primax um, battery kit here and uh, they gave it some good reviews and uh, so far and I've used it a bunch I like it so I'll show you a little bit of what it's got here so as you can see uh, you got your power button but it gives you a readout so when you turn on the uh, uh, usb ports and the dc uh, port 
it'll tell you what your battery percentage is. It'll tell you, like right now, I've got five watts um, of output power going because I've got my phone plugged into it currently. And of course, I've got zero input because it's not hooked up to um, a charger or solar or anything like that. But I've got, it's got the 12 volt cigarette lighter plug uh, right here, you can turn it on to turn the AC uh, power outlets on. You've got your Type C and your USB ports, uh, your DC 12 volt ports, and then right here you've got your port that you can plug it into a uh, a solar um, a solar panel, you know, to kind of charge it up like that. So, with all that being said, and it come with its own little uh, uh, battery, not, not a battery pack, but you know, wall charger. Um, so I charged this thing up to full power. Um, I left it turned on for several days and left a few little things plugged into it just to kind of run it down and, and charge it back up uh, just to see how it reacted and um, kind of get an idea of, of what I can do with it and how long it'll last. And so far I like it. And so here's the difference. So with the Jackery, for instance, for this same size, um power pack uh was a almost well it was right at um seven hundred dollars and this one here i found like i said on ebay and it was 158 dollars 158 dollars so and it's new it's not refurbished it wasn't used it's new so i jumped on it and so far, and I may kick myself in a year or so later and say, you know, eh, it wasn't all that good. But, hey, if I get a year or two years out of it for 150 bucks, I mean, I've got my money's worth. So, anyway, get a little further on down here to kind of show you a few things that I'm running with. One, I always have my uh, little trinkets that I like here. This here is a, a battery pack um, that, you know, it's a battery bank. Uh, you can use to charge up your phone or, um, you know, laptop or anything. It's got, uh, get this thing open here. It's got a few different little uh, USB ports and uh, charging options there on the top. Um, it's got a flashlight on the bottom, um, but it's solar. Uh, you can also, you can plug it in. It's got a cool little old compass on the back, you know, a little added coolness to it, I guess. But you can plug it in and uh, to the wall and charge it that way, or you can just leave it laying out. As you can see, the little green lights on, saying it's getting some sunlight. But you can leave it laying out, and it will charge that way. Now I've used it a few times. Um, just to give you an idea. My phone uh, the other day I was messing with it while I was out here working on some things, and uh, had my phone plugged into it. My phone was on five percent when I plugged it in, and in a matter of about. 20 minutes 25 minutes something like that my phone was already up to 73 percent so it's pretty quick i was impressed uh this little thing um i got this on ebay uh hell i don't even see a name brand on it but anyway it was like 11 bucks so i thought well hell i'll i'll get it and try it and see how it works so far works good um i've got another little trinket here it's made by a company called Solar Parts. Um, now, whether that's uh, good or bad, I don't really know. But anyway, it kind of folds up like a little phone case or whatever. And it's got a little pocket here that you can put your phone in. Um, but you basically just unsnap it. This thing folds out. It's got these little uh, rings on it. You can hang it up somewhere or whatever. But as you've got it laid out, uh, you can see it's a it's a solar solar panel, um, and it's got a USB port here on the back. Plug your phone or whatever in, and it does about the same thing as this other one. Um, this is something a little cool to have, you know, something to hang on your backpack if you're hiking, or uh, hang on the side of your truck if you're out and about, or in the woods, or uh, you're overlanding or hunting or whatever you're doing. Um, I've used it in a tree stand a couple times when I was hunting, you know, and there ain't nothing going on in the woods. Everybody wants to, these days anyway, everybody wants to get on their phone and get on Facebook and I'm guilty. And hey, I'm in the woods today and take a picture of herself and her camouflage and all that. But anyway, that thing comes in good for times like that. 
So let's get into here. So air. So if you're overlanding, you know you're gonna air, you're gonna air down uh, on rough stuff or whatever, get a little better traction. So I was gonna do a, and I may still later on down the road, but I was gonna do a um, a mounted uh, air tank, uh, air compressor, and I've been looking at several different ones. Well, I happened to be at Home Depot here a while back, and I seen this little sucker right here, and this is a 18 volt. Um, cordless Ryobi air tank and this is uh, one gallon um, and the cool thing about this is it's cordless you plug your battery in you ain't got to worry about having uh, any kind of AC power or uh, adapter or anything like that um, you know just keep you a couple spare batteries with you and that thing right there works pretty good I like it uh, and put a battery on it and I, you know like i said i'm running 37s i can run i can air all four tires up back to uh street rating on my truck in about mm, 10 minutes something like that not bad not bad um moving, moving on down the line so my son got me this little hand warmer right here this thing is cool it's made by a company called okupa I guess is how you say it. But anyway, you can see, plug it in, it's rechargeable, you charge it up, but you turn it on. Um, it's got a couple different settings, you know, uh, low, medium, and high, but you put that little sucker right there in your pocket or in your hand, and buddy, it's like holding a hot rock. I'm, it, it's nice, it's very cool, I like it. Um, got some Realtree uh, pot holders, just something, little trinket I come across at the store and i thought well that's pretty cool you know reach down in the fire and grab you your, your cast iron um ain't gonna worry about burning your hand or hunting a towel or a pot hole or something like that I just keep them things right there laying next to it um i also got some coleman toe warmers now let me tell you everybody's got usually a bag full of hand warmers anywhere they go even outdoorsmen anyway and me included, and I've always got hand warmers. And I run across these little toe warmers, and I thought, now what the heck? Because my toes in the woods in the wintertime are always cold. No matter how many layers I put on, don't, whatever reason, my toes get cold. That's the first thing get cold on me, my toes and my ears. Uh, so I found them, and they slip down in the end of your boot. They're not real thick, and they act just, they work just like a hand warmer, but they go underneath your toes in your boot. <whistles> Sun. That makes all the difference in the world. Do you hear me? You hear me? Uh, moving on down the line here, you always got to have something to start you a fire with. So a few little things that I use, just a couple little options. So I got this bug out uh fire starter here and, and what this thing is is basically it's like a little plasma um lighter so you can use it in wet weather and wind or whatever mash a little button on the side you can see the you see the little spark right there and um it's rechargeable which is cool you can plug it in and keep it charged up you don't ever have to worry about you know uh running out of fluid or uh anything like your battery going dead or whatever because you can plug it in and keep it charged um but i also keep i go old school i'm old school type feller keep the zippo lighter keep it full of fluid keep it with me um i'll be honest with you you may not need a zippo lighter to start a fire you may have some other option or whatever like i've got several here but if you ever messed with a Zippo lighter, man, they just smell good. I don't know what it is about the, the smell of the lighter fluid coming out of a Zippo lighter, but it just brings back a lot of memories as a kid for me, and I just love the smell of them. Um, but I also have this micro torch. Uh, this is a butane refillable um, micro torch. Uh, so this is a real quick way to get you a fire going um, if you've got some good fire starting uh some kindling or some uh lighter uh twigs or something along them lines so we'll move on to lights i keep a few different options on me 
you got your typical uh this one's made by cyclops uh got this at academy sports uh just clips on the end of your hat like that right there and it's pretty bright it's green so you know don't mess with your night vision mess your night your, your eyes up or whatever but it's good for you know you get out of the camper and you gotta go take a dump or whatever you want to do and get out and you can put that thing on ain't gotta worry about lighting up the world and telling everybody what you're doing you know you can just put that thing on and there's plenty of light um this little light here made by nebo and now i got this light a couple years ago uh from my boss he gave it out as a little Christmas gift, and, you know, everybody gets these little gifts like this, little trinkets from somebody sometimes, and you think, eh, you know, some little $2 piece of junk or whatever. That's a good light. Now, I've had this, like, three years I've been using this light, and you can see how scarred up it is. I've beat and bang with this thing. I keep it in my pocket, um, and it's you can see you can plug it into the end of a, into a cigarette lighter and then recharge it, and it's super bright. And then, man, I've, I've ran over it. <laughs> I lost it on the boat ramp last year, and it rolled down in the water, and I found it, and the sucker still works. So y'all get your hands on a Nebo rechargeable light. It's a good light. Um, I've also got this little, uh, this is a, just a no name brand, something I found on eBay for $10. It's rechargeable, um, it's a headlamp, and it's got three different settings on it, and again, very bright. Uh, so a rechargeable headlamp for 10 bucks, I'm not gonna pass that up. I don't care if I got 20 of them. You just can't go wrong with a $10 rechargeable headlamp. You put that thing on your head, your hands are free, and you can do whatever you need to do. So a little bit on the recovery side, I've got some more stuff I'll show y'all later as I get further into it, but my son and daughter-in-law got me these for Christmas this year, uh, U Creative Soft Shackles. Now, those of you that don't, you know, know much or, or about a soft shackle or use soft shackles i like them they're pretty cool uh and they have a an array of uh uses you can do all kind of stuff with a soft shackle not just you know use it for recovery or pulling somebody but it also kind of you know eliminates somewhat of the the purpose of having a d-ring I've gotten rid of my D-rings. I don't use them anymore. They clang around, make all kind of racket. They look cool when they're hanging off the back of your Jeep or off the back of your truck, but I just don't like them. I took them off and I've been using these soft shackles and um, they're cool. And one more thing I, I got as far as the lights go. Now this, my buddy gave me these last night uh, for Christmas and it comes in a pack of two. And, um, you know, it takes AA batteries. They're not rechargeable or anything, but they're magnetic, okay? So you can stick it to toolbox, side of your truck, camper, whatever. And it's got this little clip right here where you can undo it and you can also, you know, clip it on something or hang it on something. Um, it, it adjusts, you know, you can spin it around. Um, but you've also, it's, a, it's made by Husky. So you got two Husky lights. You can get them at Home Depot. They're pretty good lights. And um, you just can't go wrong with something like that. So that's kind of where I'm at. I got one more thing I want to show you here. And I'm going to get my tripod. I got this little tripod deal. I'm getting high tech, y'all. I'm getting high tech. Got this little tripod deal from my phone my wife got me. I'm going to figure this sucker out and get set up here get it adjusted because i want to show y'all something i seen a before let me get let me tell you this so i seen a youtube video a couple of them actually and i've heard other people talk about um these uh like hammock type chairs or camp chairs or whatever and oh how they hate them oh they're a pain in the butt you know it's like swinging nunchucks around or something like that and all these legs and parts or whatever maybe but i seen some and I told my son that I wanted some, and him and his wife got me and my wife a set of these for Christmas, okay? So I'm going to show you. These things right here are made by King Camp. Now, I'm going to give you a little demonstration here, and I'm going to set this sucker up to show you that these particular chairs, now some of them may be difficult to set up. These are not, and I'm going to show you. So give me just a second. Bear with me. 
I ain't figured out all this cutting and coming back in and all that, so hang on a second. Show you how long it takes to set this chair up. You're gonna wrestle with the bag more than you are with the chair. I can tell you that much right now. So you pull this sucker out like this here. You got two parts, this and this, okay? Pull this out just like so. Get this back where y'all can see it good. Pull it out like that. Put that right down on there. Put that right down on there. And then all you gotta do is you gotta come in here, get out of the way now. You come in here and you put your little safety pins in. And that's it. It's set up. Just that fast. And man, I'm here to tell you right now, these suckers are comfortable. You sit and swing in this thing all day long, take a nap in it, got you a little beer holder on the side, and you can just sit and swing and rock. I mean, you see how long it took to set this thing up. King Camp Chairs, I recommend them. They don't cost a lot. Um, I think they're like, I don't know, 60 something dollars a piece. Well worth it. So until next time, I'll get back with y'all and we'll go and look at some other stuff. So until then, go outside.